Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got a After Effects tutorial for you. And today I'm going to be going over motion blur settings. And I got a request to do it, and I thought um, I might as well do it, just do a quick little video. It's not going to be anything majorly advanced, so I'm just going to tell you maybe when you can use it and my settings that I always use. Now, before you actually um, start following along to this story, I recommend that you go get Real Smart Motion Blur by the uh, REV Visions plugins. They are, it's, it's really good because it is extremely easy to use and there's no there's no real um, you know effort needed because what it does compared to other motion blur is it actually changes the sensitivity so it will only apply motion blur to bits that are moving relatively fast which I will um, demonstrate to you later. So motion blur is a good thing to do to use if you've got things like I don't think it was here you see I think there's an explosion you see this explosion that goes up here and you can see that there's just a massive ripple and it's there's a lot of warping from the use of Twixter and just the, from the game itself so I if I, I want to sort of you know reduce this a bit so all I can do is I can drag on some motion blur and straight away you can see it's a bit more faded it's not as so I was to take it, if you look down at this fire uh, with the like, like explosion, if I was to take it off, you can see that it, it just blows it, which makes it, it's, it's not a lot, but it will help in the end. And the sensitivity, I would always keep around 70, maybe you could go up to about 90 max, I would say. And by increasing the sensitivity, all it's going to do is, so the more, so it's, it's hard to explain, but the less it moves about, or the more it moves about, it's going to add motion blur. But the higher the sensitivity means that even if it's moving that slower, it's going to add blur to it. And then simply, you just got the blur amount here that you probably only want to ever go up to about 1.2 ish. So they are probably the max you want to stay. But as you can see, this just creates some really nice effects. And it just, if I was to take that off now, you can see that it, it sort of masks all of this warping a bit and that's just a really nice thing to do so say if you had your project and you sort of finished it also I've got like a main composition here what you could then go and do is you could get your let me just find my main comp which is there and we can drag that into a new composition so we just have it there and then we can just drag on some motion blur apply all your settings and then you're ready to go and render it will add to the render time but to be honest motion blur is a vital thing and i recommend that you always have it it's just a great way of doing it now another point of motion blur is um say if you had some sort of text element like i've got when it renders here and uh if i was just to zoom in a tad um, so we've got our, uh, trying to remember, okay, yeah, so we've got it animating in here, I believe the keyframes are here, yep, so we've got it animating in here, at the moment you can see it doesn't look amazing, but what we can do is, we can hit this mo little motion blur tab, like that, now you won't see a change because we need to enable motion blur up here by clicking this sort of, the circle sort of fading out like that and now you can see there's a bit of motion blur added it's not it's not that subtle but this is just a built-in after effects way of doing it which is always nice to say if you're doing typographies typographies and animations so that was that's about it for today guys and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um and yeah i'll keep your requests coming because i'm running out of ideas but when I release this edit, I've got a lot of things that I want to, I've got quite a lot of tutorials coming up. So maybe like this spectrum bar, I think I'll probably give away. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that and I will see you next time guys. Cheers.